in the 60s, when there was no advanced technology like today, it was not possible to get satellite images live. At that time, the images taken by the satellite were sent to the ground by parachutes and protective cylinders and then captured by aircraft. The Corona satellite, which was kept in the sky 100 miles above the Earth, had also sent eight locked photos to the Earth. CIA observers were curious about one particular photo among those photos. It was taken while the satellite was passing over the western Caspian Sea. The photograph contained a sketch of a mysterious object in the shape of an airplane. According to the image, the object was located inside a Russian warship manufacturing facility. Russia has developed a new secret weapon was the latest news. According to the photo, the object in question was not a ship or a submarine, but an airplane. But it was almost twice as large as the largest aircraft of the time and had a wingspan of about 100 feet, so America had a problem with how to fly it. America called it the Caspian Sea Monster. Anyway, they embarked on a new mission to study the craft secretly. The project was called Aqualand and their aim was to send an unmanned drone into the Caspian Sea where the object was located. It was the beginning of the history of drones and it was a real challenge to build such a plane. The plane was secretly developed at Area 51, but then the mission had to be stopped because it crashed during the experiments. In the end, their only help was the Corona satellite, which first spotted the object. The mystery of the sea monster was solved after a clear analysis of the recovered photos. It was truly a wonderful creation of Soviet Russia. This sea monster was the first of a type of ground effect vehicle called an Akronoplane. Russia named it KM, Karablamaket. It was an intermediate craft between aircraft and ship and could only travel a few feet above sea level. It was created in 1960 and was put into service from 1966. It was the world's largest airplane from 1966 to 1988. It was capable of traveling to America within three hours with the speed of an airplane. It was not detected by any radar system due to its low altitude. It was in use for 15 years until it crashed due to pilot error during training in 1980. This was the prototype for the later famous Looney Chronoplane. 